Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sushmata. Today's video is about calcium hydroxide paste by a volume called RCT Care. I will talk about what is RCT Care, its composition, mechanism of action, indications and directions to use. So let's get started. Walden RCT Cal is pre-mixed, syringe-delivered, water-based calcium hydroxide paste with barium sulfate, which has a pH of more than or equal to 12.5. It contains calcium hydroxide with barium sulfate and it is water-based. Remineralization. Calcium reduces the permeability of new capillaries, so it increases the concentration of calcium ions that decreases the inhibitory pyrophosphatase, which in result increase the activity of calcium-dependent pyrophosphatase, and that causes the uncontrolled mineralization. Antibacterial. It causes damage to the bacterial cytoplasmic membrane denaturate the protein and also cause damage to the bacterial DNA. Anti-inflammatory, it inhibits the addition of macrophages and decreases the level of MMP8. Addition of barium sulfate makes the calcium hydroxide radio-opaque that enables the practitioner to observe more readily the healing process on radiograph. Calcium hydroxide is used extensively in variety of treatment modalities within endodontic and dental traumatology such as direct and indirect pulp capping, for apexogenesis and apexification, in treatment of root resorption, as an intra-canal dressing in between appointments and also as a root canal sealant. After the biomechanical preparation of the canal, disinfect and dry the canal completely. Then insert the dispensing tip into the RCT care tube. After attaching the tip, Check for a smooth flow of material before using it into the patient. Now insert the dispensing tip into the canal and inject a little bit of material into the middle and coronal third. Make sure that the dispensing tip is moving freely into the canal without binding. Keep injecting RCT Cal into the canal till the entire middle and coronal third is filled completely. For even placement of RCT Cal within the canal, take a master cone up to its working length and then make sure that the material is delivered up to the apex. Remove the excess material with the help of sterile cotton swab. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.